United USA 2020. Talk about the ultimate betrayal of trust between the government and civilians. Yeah, well, you're looking at it, ladies and gentlemen. I got a report on this again. Take a look at this video. This is important. I need everyone to share this video. Tonight, the state of California under fire after posting a list of every person with a permit to carry a concealed gun, including their names, addresses, and phone numbers. The list included celebrities, judges, even victims of domestic violence. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live outside the Department of Justice with the concerns many gun owners are raising now. Laura. Well, this goes way beyond a simple filing error. The AG's office releasing a list of names, birthdays, gender, race, and home addresses of every single person in the state of California with a concealed carry weapons permit. This all happened last night after the AG released a website in the effort to be more transparent when it comes to gun safety. The website had in it uh, firearm safety information, record sales, and a link to a portal of concealed carry permit holders. Except when you clicked on that portal, thousands of columns came up with all of that personal information included that I just mentioned. Now that website has since been taken down, but too late. Victims already saw it. One who spoke to us about the danger this has put his family in. Even most of my family members do not know that I have a concealed weapons permit. I have a good reason to get it. I got it because my spouse was being stalked by a violent abuser, and we had went through a lot of a process to get that many years ago to provide us some peace of mind. So this is this. What's happened here is um, is just a terrible thing for the citizens, and it, and really, it's really terrible that the attorney general hasn't stood up and and apologized to the victims of this release. Read to you a part of what was said on that initial website released by the AG's office. It says the DOJ seeks to balance its duties to provide gun violence and firearms data to support research efforts while protecting the personal identifying information in the data they collect. We did reach out to the AG to ask what happened. Here's what the AG's response was. Any unauthorized release of personal information is unacceptable. We are working swiftly to address the situation and will provide additional information as soon as possible. Coming up tonight at 6, we spoke to a legal expert about what this means for victims and the difference between public record and the AG's office volunteering personal information. Oh, my goodness. What a mess. Mess. What a mess. Hey, any of my California subscribers out there, holler at your boy. Hit me up in the comments. I want to hear from everybody on this one. Whether you whether you believe people should have the right to bear arms or not, I, I want to hear everyone weigh in on this because, listen, if they could do this to gun owners, they'll do this to anybody. Somebody might say, well, I'm not a gun owner and... I'm not really worried about it because it's not affecting me. Yeah, not right now. But as time goes on, it's it's really only a matter of time before it it will affect you and something will affect you in some way, depending on which side of the aisle you're on, whether you're on the left or the right. Uh, it's irrelevant. This is an American issue. Okay, this is this is a this is a civil rights issue. Um, this is absolutely outrageous. I got two words for you. Lawsuit. All y'all in Cali, launch those lawsuits. You just, yeah, you're, you're going to get damages. I'm sure you'll get a payday. Who knows how long the litigation will go on and all that crap that you're going to have to deal with. But, um, yeah, I can, I can see them settling out of court for hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, on, on all these cases because they know that they're liable. Now, I don't know how much people are going to make. This is, like I said, this is not about the money. It's, it's about the principle that your privacy has been violated. The confidence of the government that is supposed to have your back and protecting that information has just shown that they are no longer trustworthy. And people say to me, you know, man, you know, you seem kind of like you're anti-government, dude. And, and people have said that to me a couple times through the years, and I just always got to stop in their tracks and correct them and say no. No, I'm proud to be an American, but I'm ashamed of a corrupt government. See the difference? Proud to be an American, 
but I'm ashamed of a corrupt government. And this last 20 years has been a train wreck. And it's just, it, it bears even repeating. It's just absolutely outrageous. So um, I want to hear from everybody on this one. Don't be shy. Oh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to make a comment because the government, because the government is going to read my comment. They're collecting my information. Well, no shit. No shit. They're collecting all of our information all the time. And some of you are, are, are such, you know, I don't want to call some of you cowards, but I'm going to call you what I would call anybody in plain English is that you're being chicken shit to not get involved in the conversation. Because you're like, oh, I didn't want to put that out there. I didn't want to put my opinions out there. No, the gov let the government know how I feel about controversial issues. Yeah, that's how you sound. Yeah, that voice right there. I don't know what the hell some of you are waiting for. What are y'all waiting for? Why are some of you still not starting platforms and starting to exercise your, your First Amendment right to free speech? This is our World War II for our generation, ladies and gentlemen. This is our Vietnam. This is our Nagasaki, okay? Do you get what I'm saying? This is our time now. Stand up, America. And join me in this good fight to protect democracy in a free republic. To protect our constitutional rights. Our God-given rights. Our inalienable rights. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video.